You know Fernando comes to fight, but so do Ricardo Mayor. So you got an irresistible force against an immovable object, and something has got to give, and give it will, on September 8th at this great building called the State of the Park. You know what I mean? So come on up here, champ. Yeah, the former world champion of the world, soon to be trying for the champ. Good afternoon to everyone here. I would like to thank God one more time for giving me this opportunity. And of course to Don King for also giving me another opportunity and giving me another opportunity to put food on the table for my parents. Le doy mucho respeto a la señora que es la la señora de la manager de promotora de de Fernando Vargas, una señora que que tiene mucho respeto, mucho respeto para ella. My respect to Miss Kathy Duva, an excellent promoter for Mr. Vargas. Bueno, yo quiero que todo el mundo sepa de que en este momento me he enfocado en mi pelea, aunque la gente no lo crea, mucha gente no lo crea, aunque todo el mundo lo crea. Pero ya llevo dos meses y medio de estar entrenando. He goes, I'm very dedicated, I'm very focused, believe it or not, and I know a lot of people are doubting, but I'm very focused and dedicated to win this fight. And although you might not believe it, but I've been training already for about at least two months. Tengo la misma hambre de antes, y yo quiero que tú mires las dos peleas que derroté a seis cabezas y las dos de Bernafore. Con así como me ves volando golpe y con esa hambre, con esa hambre voy a entrar para ti. I have the same hunger, the same strength, the same ambition that I had when I first was crowned world champion. I suggest, and I strongly suggest, that you take a look at those fights, because that's the Mayorga you're going to get on September 8th. Yo voy a acabar contigo ya, porque ya tú estás acabado. Lo que voy a hacer es que te firme el cheque y lo recoge ahí para la presión. Because I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you this one last opportunity for you to be able to collect a, a check. And thereafter, a pension check because I'm going to retire from boxing. Yo quiero que todo el mundo sepa que el gordo es que siempre me ha tenido miedo. Que el gordo es que siempre me ha tenido miedo. I'd like to say and I'd like to declare publicly what I've always felt: that fatty over here has always been afraid of me. Parece que la mamá no lo mandó a la escuela. Respeta a la dama que está a tu lado. Apparently, apparently your parents didn't teach you any manners. Respect the lady that's right next to you. El gordo este, cuando yo era campeón, 54, el maricón este estaba demandando el consejo que quería mi título hacía puro regalo. Gánatelo ahora que estoy yo aquí. When I was crowned junior middleweight champion by the WBC when I fit, uh, fought Michelle Picciarillo because you took the cowardly way of trying to get that title by suing the WBC and not stepping up into the ring with me. Now's your time to step up in the ring with me and you have nowhere to go. Voy a hacer la pelea con el gordo en 162 libros y me puede bajar. I'm making and I accepted and I conceded to take this fight at 162 because Fatty over here couldn't lose any more weight. <laughs> Después me voy a enfocar en bajar a la 47 porque yo quiero hacerlo otra vez 47 y ser campeón. Yo quiero a Cotto, a Molly o a Maguire. And after this fight at 162, I am going to come back down to 147 pounds and I challenge any of those champions, whether it be Cotto, whether it be Mayweather, or whether it be Sugar Shane Mosley. That's where I want to go, where I was king, and I'll be king again. Y a la vez le hago un favor a tu señora, que te retiro, para que ya no siga llorando cada vez que te vean un monstruo en el ring, maricón. I'm going to make, and I'm going to make you, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give your wife a favor, I'm going to do your wife a favor, and not let her cry anymore, after they disfigure every time that you go.
were afraid of it. Everybody calm down. Calm down, everybody. 